hi and welcome back to my channel and another vlogmas today we're going to make some mince pies so if you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing as we're bringing out new content all the time so let's get on and make these lovely mince pies okay i have my trusty food processor makes things go a lot easier and i have nine ounces of i've got um what have i got <laughs> wholemeal pastry flour so what i've got you can use plain flour that would work as well or purpose flour i've got this one so i'm using this and we're just going to tip everything into the food processor okay i have one ounce of icing sugar because i'm making a sweet short cross pastry and then i have four and a half ounces of softened butter And then what I do different is I add some cinnamon in. So, eh, about a teaspoon. Clear that up in a bit. There we are. And I have. Beaten it. And what I'm going to do is turn my food processor on low. That will do. together beautifully right. I'm going to put that in my fridge for about 20 minutes and then I will be back Okay, this has been chilling for a little bit. I'll probably put it in the fridge for about 15 minutes. Right. I've got two pieces of cling film, one on the bottom, one on the top. So if you're adding any more flour in. Actually, what I'm going to do just before I roll it. I put a jar of mince meat. I've just got the Tesco's one. And I'm going to spring some into here. And what I do is I've got some brandy. And I just tip some in. Don't worry about the brandy. It does just cook off. Or just leave the brandy out of it. Just a little bit, just to add a little bit of flavour. That will do. That could be sitting there.
Okay. I'm just going to see what size I will need. I've got a feeling it's going to be this one. And it is this one, so I'm going to go around. Stuck on my mat, that's not an issue because it's just folded back in. Right. And all I'm doing is I've graced pan, like a muffin tin, and I'm just popping those in gently. Running out of space to put stuff. <coughs> going to do with that is now just put some of the mince meat in each one if you want to know where I got my pastry flour from was buy whole foods online co dot UK. Now I'm going to put those to one side again. Up there. Pull my pastry back. And I'm going to use a smaller cutter this time for the top. So that was my ones for the bottoms, and this one's for my tops, as you can see pop it in that way it is actually smaller it's that one I'm using the small one okay, and with the tops what you're going to do is wet your finger just with some water I've got it in a little dish here and wet your finger then pop it on the top and you just push down on the edge just so it sticks to the bottom casing like that I've got that tray filled and I've still got pastry left so, I have another tray that I'm going to quickly grease just a few and make sure you grease it well. got enough to make one last one. There we are. Very little waste. Yeah, it can be a bit of a fast, but I've got some um, 
cinnamon sugar here. I've always got a jar of cinnamon sugar. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to wet the top just like that. Go around wetting all the tops down. Just again, just with water. Nothing fancy. Okay, and then I'm going to go in with the cinnamon sugar. I'm just going to give it a good sprinkle. Okay, then with a sharp knife, let me bring you in a bit. just for the mince pies just to be able to release the steam out so they sort of vent some people do a cross I find it's just easy just to do a little slip like so there we are that's one tray done that over, get the second tray done. There we are, that's them done. I'm going to put them in the oven and cook them and I will bring you back when they are all fully cooked to show you what they look like. And there we are guys. There is 15 there, 16 because I chomped one. Tastes really good, really nice. So, there that is, they taste really nice. Give it a go. That cinnamon in that pastry does add something to it and then the cinnamon sugar on top it just finishes it beautifully. Well that's it for this one guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did please give it the big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, that way you will not miss a video. And I hope you try the recipe. It's so easy to do and don't forget the top tip, roll your pastry out between two sheets of cling film or saran wrap and it saves you adding any more pastry any more flour so it doesn't dry out the pastry so until next time all bye and take care